Welcome to ISE's ETF and Index Weekly Outlook, a weekly outlook on ETFs and ISE's indexes, hosted by Patrick Ceresna, the Chief Derivative Market Strategist at Optionsource.net. ISE has a portfolio of more than 20 proprietary indexes based on a diverse range of fast-growing industries and emerging markets. Our team of indexing experts is dedicated to creating these innovative indexes and partnering with issuers to launch unique investment vehicles. This includes exchange-traded funds, exchange-traded notes, and other structured products. ISE continually enhances its trading platform and develops new index products to provide investors with the best marketplace and investment tools to trade smarter. Hello and welcome to the ISC ETF and Index Outlook for September 3rd, 2012. This is Patrick Srezna. As always, we start off with a chart of the S&P 500 using that spider exchange rate fund symbol SPY. Uh, we uh, it's now uh, Labor Day is uh, behind us, and we now have a market that is going into one of the most difficult uh, trading months of the year in the month of September. At the same time, we're at, we're at a market that is consolidating sideways up near its year highs. Um, now, there's a lot of negative sentiment toward the markets here, which certainly can still unwind into a couple of short term bursts higher um, uh, in terms of short squeezes we're targeting that kind of 44 144 to 145 area if we saw this develop into a flag that breaks higher but we won't deviate from um, our bigger picture perspective that the risk of war proposition of the market here is very poor and even if there is a couple bursts higher for a few dollars on the upside uh, the risk of being in the market is uh, is substantially um, worse than the upside potential and so therefore we uh, advise uh, using any short-term strength as a uh, way of lightening up on some of the uh, more conventional uh, positions. Next year, I want to take a look at the IC Global Engineering and Construction Index, which is the symbol CVL. Uh, the ETF product trades under the symbol FLM. We more or less uh, have seen this behave uh, similarly to the broader markets after that uh, uh, short-term uh, bottom in uh, May and early June. The market has been overall recovering in this uh, engineering construction uh, space. And we're really at this stage with this consolidation we're seeing here down to uh, the 222 area, we're at a sort of... Uh, point where if this was just a pullback it's going to find support somewhere within the next uh, few points here and use that as a pull vault to actually work its way not only back up to the highs but maybe even try a burst higher to 240 or 245 on the upside and the, to the equal degree if the selling started coming in stronger here and we saw any damage down to let's say 215 or 210 down to the middle of the consolidation from June and July that would be some substantial technical damage that would uh, immediately put to question this uh, breakout attempt so really here let's see if the bulls can dig in and, and use this as a, a support line to launch a new move uh, if we see substantial deterioration from here, then I'd leave this index alone. Next year, I want to take a look at the ISC Global Platinum Index, which is symbol ORE, and we continue to see the Platinum Index trading very sideways, trading all the way back down to its previous lows. We've already seen some pretty substantial recoveries in gold and silver, uh, and uh, it was interesting that Platinum hasn't really seen too much of a, an effect. It may be because many of these miners are uh, associated with uh, South Africa, which have had a couple of issues recently, but nonetheless, uh, we are going to be watching whether the support line comes in. If this by chance becomes a double bottom on the downside, it may emerge as a, a very interesting buying opportunity. Next year, I want to take a look at the ISC Cloud Computing Index, which is a symbol CPQ. And uh, the Cloud Computing Index has uh, had some uh, pretty good strength in the last uh, month of August as it worked its way to even higher highs. Uh, like all these indices that have done this, um, the, the real test now is how they can hold support during short-term pullbacks. Uh, there may be even pullbacks temporarily below the, the uh, 205 zone, which is uh, the bottom end of that focal point. Uh, but uh, so long as uh, all sh sell-offs are short-term in duration, couple days, and immediately attract new buyers, and then we'll be looking to see whether or not the cloud computing space can actually recover. It would take substantial deterioration in the price below the 200 level uh, especially if it happened in a rapid fashion for us to uh, become outright negative on the cloud computing index. That was your ISC ETF and index outlook. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For more information about Patrick Ceresna 
and to sign up for free ETF and index trade alerts, visit www.optionsource.net. To learn more about ISE's indexes and ETFs, visit us at www.ise.com forward slash ETF.